YouTubers have been putting Jay Station on blast over a month after he used Mac Miller's death as the focal point for a video. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more stories about potentially insensitive YouTubers. Mac Miller tragically died on September 7th, shocking the music world. Only a day later, YouTuber Jay Station released a video called R.I.P. Mac Miller's Spirit Box Challenge at 3 a.m., where he claims to communicate with the rapper using an electronic device. All right, Mac Miller. If you're around here, if you want to reach out to us, now's the time. We know you're out there. Come to the radio frequency. I just said death or something. Jay Station claims to be using a device that can pick up EVP or electronic voice phenomena. It's generally regarded as a bogus pseudoscience. And if you listen to these so-called messages Jay Station is picking up, it's mostly white noise mixed in with voices coming in on a radio frequency. You hear what you want to hear. But Jay Station didn't just like turn on a white noise machine and interpret vague messages. Oh no no. He also faked something pretty disturbing with Ariana Grande to boost interest in his video. What? I don't know, I think it is playing a song. Back! Oh no! Oh. That's Ariana Grande, bro! The EVP just stopped. So keep in mind, this is like a day after Mac Miller died, and Jay Station is having this like fake paranormal experience between Mac Miller and Ariana Grande. And Ariana Grande was still suffering a lot online because people were blaming her for Mac Miller's death. And in the days that followed, several other YouTubers spoke out against Jay Station, including Adam22. Today we actually got a memorial set up of Mac Miller. We got some candles. We're gonna light it up right now, guys. Today I hope his hand burns off. A place now, guys. Smash the like button on this video. Every like on this video is a prayer for Mac Miller, his friends, or his family. Let's try oh, to no! Are you f***ing serious? And Keemstar. That's right, guys. This sick son of a uploaded a video acting like he's communicating with Mac Miller beyond the grave. And before that, Mac Miller was actually on the TV, guys. Let me know in the comments. Wow. Now, just in case there's some incredibly stupid people watching this video right now, that's fake. That is not real. That is literally to make money and get views and exploit someone's death. Now, Keemstar did bring up how his video is also monetized and thus indirectly profiting off Mac Miller's death. The thing is, is I can't just remove ads because if I remove ads, then YouTube stops promoting my video. They start pushing it out and I get way less views and as much people need to know about these two scumbags. So I reached out to Twitter asking for some help and some advice. That's when FaZe Rain hit me up and suggested that I donate the money that I make on this video to a mental health charity and that is exactly what I've decided to do. So he says he's gonna donate any of the money that he makes from that video. To be honest, I don't think we're gonna make money off of this video, but if ads happen to play before it and we do make anything off of it, we're gonna donate that too. Tanami, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Now, Jay Station has long made paranormal experimentation a big part of his channel. Dude, I, it's glitching out. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my oh, god. I, I've never seen a phone do that. What is that? I, I don't, don't know. And even though this stuff is clearly fake, it does seem to be in good fun. YouTube How my freaking passwords? What the hell do you mean? How do you, how do you even know that? I know everything about you. Don't make me expose Oh my you. god. Oh my god. But I think most can agree that doing a challenge like this at 3 a.m after a beloved musician has just passed away is in pretty poor taste. He did a similar video with the Ouija board after the death of XXXTentacion in June. We're gonna use the Ouija board to contact XXXTentacion. Oh, that's X's name. What do you mean? What's that's his name? That's X's name. Like his real name? Demon, dude, it just spelled out demon like so fast. Whoa, what the freak? Guys, what the hell? The Daily Dot reached out to Jay Station, whose real name is Jason Ethier, to hear his side of the story. He told them the video didn't receive any criticism until prominent figures like Adam22 and Keemstar started talking about it. And he defended himself, saying people wouldn't care if he did videos on Elvis or the Beatles. 
half of whom are still alive, by the way. They only care if they recently died for whatever reason that is. Yeah, cause like when someone passes away, the majority of people need some time to process that, heal, and then start to move on with their lives. But then he said he understood why some people got upset. He said, I think people have a point and I see why people have a problem with my video, but it doesn't bother me about other people's thoughts. I don't try to make videos for people that hate me. I just make videos for people who might be interested in whatever the video might be. And he's probably right. His fans probably don't care that he posted a video like this. They're more than likely excited. And it's only non-fans who get really upset when stuff like this gets posted. The Mac Miller video has a pretty bad like to dislike ratio, but another video about XXX Tentacion that slipped under the radar fared much better. And even all those people who really dislike the video, and maybe people from our audience who are interested and want to go check it out, are gonna watch an ad before it plays. So do you think that Jay Station did a video about Mac Miller the day after he died is in poor taste? Let us know in the comments, and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.